fine young lady since since I was slim. <laughs> Martha, Hank says you're a fine wife. That's the truth, Slim. The best. We know you're a fine mother. You bet. And you're a first class friend. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Wind's turned, coming out of the north. I made friends with two girls from the work crew today. They study butterflies, and I was thinking I could take them for a drive in the mountains sometime. Japanese? Well, they're American. Those Americans who look Japanese. you blame them for Pearl Harbor, for Daniel? I'm not as stupid as you think. I know they're not the same people who bombed Pearl Harbor. They kept our crops going the past couple of years. I never said you were stupid. And I never said I disliked them. I just said they were Japanese, that's all. And you keep your distance. Look, I got a lot to do around here. I got to keep this place going pretty much on my own. I don't go into the fields to, to socialize. Rose and Flory both went to USC. I can't tell you how good it is to talk about something other than crops and the weather. I bet. Thank you, Lord, for your gifts. And may we be ever mindful of your love. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pass the taters. <laughs> I'll put your napkin on your lap first. Would you care for a roll, Libby? Sure. Thanks. Ray? Well, I'm considering beans in the North Field. Are you? Mmm. Price of beans can't go anywhere but up. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I've been thinking about, about Troy. Troy who? The city of, the lost one, over there in Turkey. Turkey. Uh, Homer wrote about it in the Iliad. No one knew if there really had been such a city or if Troy was merely a myth until an archeologist found it. <laughs> How do you lose a city? Under the sand. They, uh, they had to excavate it. Well, I'll be. <laughs> we could have we could have dug it up, Ray. <laughs> With a <the> claw. <laughs> this 
So, Ray, are you gonna plant some beans this year? I think we ought to. singing. What was it? It's just a song Daddy'd sing to us kids. I was trying to remember it so I could sing it to the baby. My sister wants me to go back to Denver to deliver in the hospital. Where is she? She left already. I'll make some lunch. It's getting worried. Sorry, I'm late. I found the dugout. The dugout that Martha was talking about? Look, arrowheads. Livy, I don't mean to disappoint you, but my granddaddy owned a gun. For sure he didn't use a bow and arrow. No, I know that, but he or your grandmother were interested enough to collect them. Look, a whole jar of flints. Someone in your family was a budding archaeologist. Look at this one. Cleaning out the shed. Where is the burlap bag? What did you do with it? Livy. near the bottom of the pile. It hadn't caught fire. Maybe this is a working farm. If some doesn't have a use, I throw it out. I thought it was trash. It's not trash. It's history. It's your history. Do anything. Do anything to make you happy. I know. I know that. Fire. Wait. I'm not sure why we're putting an old ox yoke inside the house. It was probably that very yoke your grandfather used to first break this land. Yeah, oh, well, it's about to break my back. I want to show you the family history that means the most to me. I let him talk me into a deal. If I'd stay behind and work the farm, he'd join the Navy.
landlocked his whole growing up. He was always dreaming of the ocean. I was the oldest. I should have gone. 